or hello. So today is uh, 2nd of June 2023 and week 22 of the year. We're nearing the half the year. Yeah, I measure the year by the weeks. So this is our electroculture experiment where we grow acacia trees with Lakowski coil and magnets. This is for those that just come across this video and haven't seen the, the videos before. So some time ago, a couple of years ago, I was doing an experiment and it showed that uh, that uh, that uh, I didn't have much results basically with uh, with magnets or with the uh, with the coils. So, uh, but I did receive quite a lot of comments, <clears throat> and uh, I read the comments and I decided to do experiment again because maybe there were things that uh, I overlooked that and that, that prevented experiment from going forward. So, uh, most of those comments uh, went together. Uh, uh, I put them together into categories, and most of them were about use you know, the copper instead of other metals. So, I didn't use copper, I used some nickel or, or some metal. So, people had an issue with the use of, of the type of metal I used. So, I purchased 0 0.75 millimeters um, copper wire. I stripped it and uh, and uh, created uh, a coil. And uh, I think for for the seedlings, the the width is appropriate because uh, I could I couldn't possibly fit much thicker um, ring, much th thicker coil. In, in this in this little experiment with these little trees um, I also when I used uh, copper wire before I had a uh, insulation on it uh, I don't think the, the bit of rubber would prevent magnetism or anything like that but uh, for the sake of experiment I did I did remove it uh, another issue was that uh, and the, the copper, the gap in in the coil should be facing north, which I think it did face north in my case, but I just made double sure that it is uh, that it is facing north, and also uh, it should be rotating in a counterclockwise direction because uh, I'm on the southern hemisphere, so I made sure that all the coils are turning counterclockwise. Also the bottom of the of the loop should be 30 30 degrees on a slope of 30 degrees. So you can see the, the bottom part of the coil is down about about 30 degrees. Well the top can be considered as on the plane going down to down to 30 degrees. Huh. Uh, somebody uh, posted a useful warning about copper wire. The copper wire creates uh, copper oxide, which is uh, toxic to people. And I did look it up. And yes, it is toxic to people with violent vomiting and bleeding from the face and uh, all sorts of uh, bad issues. However, however, copper oxide is created very, very slowly over, over many, many years. And secondly, uh, for copper oxide to create faster, the temperatures need to be over 200 degrees Celsius. And I have no idea how much it is in Fahrenheit, so we need to look it up. Um, also, the person mentioned that uh, it, it, the, what helps the growth of the plants is... Uh, um, that oxide, the, the copper oxide that is leaking to the soil uh, because copper is one of the essentials, essential mic micronutrients for the plants. So, I don't know, that's another thing to consider 
over the, the amounts will be minuscule that will actually uh, with the oxidization of of this uh, of copper in a normal in a normal environment somebody mentioned that the neodymium magnets do not work and uh, uh, can we allow use this neodymium, neodymium uh, magnets and he swears by them so I don't know he says that ferrite ferrite magnets are very slow well I already bought neodymium magnets yeah he and I've placed them roughly one less than one centimeters centimeter from the stem of the plant and um, and uh, that's what I have so that's what we're gonna try and they're also affordable however uh, uh, Ken Wheeler he he wants ridiculously strong magnets that cost nearly hundred dollars to purchase each so I, I think that that is unreasonable and it's unviable for for growing plants on a on a, on a larger scale there has to be something it's cheap and affordable otherwise even if in, if it increases growth by 30 percent it's just unviable and uh, and another thing it was that the lights would interfere with the magnets and with the coil well it is what it is yeah I have lights because I wanted to create uh, even even growing uh, environment for for all the plants so uh, this is what, what, what we're gonna use for this experiment and uh, if somebody wants to try this without the, the lights I'll be I'll be very happy to watch the experiment like that please upload it and if you prove that it works I'll be just happy so here we go uh, the way I set up the coils and magnets is, is the following so I have four groups of of plants that that sprouted in a different way so I would say group A is uh, alpha they are the best and strongest seeds that sprouted group B is uh, is uh, little seeds that sprouted with a little help they needed to be clipped on the side so this group A they only had to be put in a boiling water and then they sprouted group B had to be put in a boiling water and clipped they sprouted then after about after a few weeks I I opened them and these are the ones that sprouted the best and then group C is uh, is those that I had to leave for another week or two in a in a bag until until they sprouted properly. And then it sprouts. And then group D is is uh, are those that uh, didn't sprout much. They only had a little tiny tiny little uh, suggestion of of sprouting. And I planted them. And I can see that some of them they did sprout quite nicely. And so um, uh, I, I divided the, the number of available coils and magnets into groups proportionally. And then I, uh, I put the magnets and, and coils to next to the weakest, the weakest plants. Whoops! I weakest plants so we will see if the weak plants catch up to the strongest strongest to the plants who had the strongest start at the beginning and so the strongest plants and this is just visual visual consideration the strongest plants uh, will be the control group of each of, of the groups that I've shown you and the weak plants will be trying to catch up with the strongest plants so that means that we will find out if electroculture is better than genetics
of the plants. So if the weakest plants catch up to the strongest plants, then, uh, then we will have a suggestion that there might be something to the coils or and to the magnets. However, it will not be conclusive because, uh, because uh, those weak plants that have started bad, they can actually have pretty good genetics once they develop a little bit better. So, but we at least will have a, uh, some sort of confirmation that there might be something to improvement of growth by Lakowski coil or magnets and and that's it so next step will be to uh, I'll mark which plan which number has which uh, if it's control or if it's Lakowski coil or uh, or magnet and then uh, we'll just water them we'll look after them nicely for everyone the same way for every see the same way and then and then we'll track the growth and see if the weak links will catch up to the alphas cool and that's it thanks for watching and um, in the next episode i'll show you the show you the the spreadsheet and then uh, I'll just I'll just upload video only sporadically and uh, to see the growth. So there will be only a few videos show you if there's some uh, any interesting interesting development and 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 there will be conclusion video where where we'll see if if uh, there are see some benefit to coil or magnets. Sorry for talking so slowly. Glad you lasted. It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> okay, bye.